This is Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia. If you didn't already know, Indonesia is the most popular Muslim country and its capital city Jakarta has a population of 10 and a half million people. Jakarta, just like many cities, is on the coast of Indonesia and just like other coastal cities, it has a high chance of getting flooded. But the water you're seeing in this city is not because of rising sea levels, it's because the city is actually sinking. This giant city has been sinking into the ground for many years. In the year 1977, Jakarta was in its place for many years and it wasn't sinking. But scientists slowly realized that the city is beginning to sink and they found out around the 90s. And by the map, you can see where it's starting to sink. 10 years later, the sinking has gone everywhere on the shoreline. And this is the 2017 map, five years ago. By these pictures, you can tell that it's slowly sinking into the ocean. Scientists have measured some parts of the city have sunk about 25 centimeters. In Jakarta, there has been thousands of buildings that have sunk into the ocean. You guys have probably heard about the lost city of Atlantis, but nobody knows if it's real or not. It seems like Jakarta is gonna get the same outcome. Scientists predict by the year 2050, most of the city will be underwater. You could say Jakarta was built in the wrong place. 13 different rivers flow through this city alone, and they predict that under this city, there is a swamp. There's a lot of water in this city, but there's a problem with fresh water. And that's because every home has to put up a well so they have access to fresh water. An insane population and small homes and slums around the city, and each of them have their own well, has caused the city to have all types of water problems. These wells are not helping the cause at all. Imagine the city is sitting on a bag of water and the people are slowly taking that water under the city. This causes the water level underneath the city to lower and that causes the whole city to start sinking. Back in the day, if you took water out the well, it didn't matter because Jakarta is a very rainy city and it will be filled back up during the raining season. But this city expanded and the expansion caused this city to not be able to absorb the water. Just imagine a huge chunk of cement is covering this city and it doesn't allow the rainwater to be absorbed into the ground like back in the day. Poverty is a huge problem in Jakarta as well and most of the people are fishermen. You could say all they have is their boat which they live in and they actually sleep in there as well. Taking the underground water in Jakarta is slowly showing its effects right about now. From the other side, the rainwater doesn't get absorbed. From the other side, the people keep taking the water out every day. In the 17th century, when the Europeans were taking over all types of country, Jakarta was a place that was in Dutch hands. The Dutch built a city in Jakarta's area called Batavia. To build this city, the Dutch used the same layout as Amsterdam. And that means the buildings are all connected, the streets are very narrow, and there is water canals running throughout the city as well. There is a main water canal in the middle and it separates the city in two. And one side was meant for the Europeans and the other side was meant for the locals. There were way less Dutch people in this area than Indonesia. The layout of the city was designed so the Dutch had power and not the locals. Until the Dutch were there, everything was maintained and up to date. And one of the most important maintenance they have to do were the water canals. The problem started when the Dutch actually left Batavia and they didn't teach the people that you have to maintain these canals. After this, the canals start to get old and a lot of the parts would break and flood the city. 
this pass until we get to the 19th century. This is the era where the Dutch actually return to Batavia, but they don't go back to that spot they ruined back in the day, and they start to remodel farther back from the shore. In their expansion, they didn't create water canals anymore. They ran water pipes under the ground to every home, but the plumbing was done only in the Dutch area and the locals didn't have access to fresh water like the Dutch. So the Europeans had the faucet right there, but the locals had to walk all the way to the rivers and grab water. And it was kilometers away from some of the places. For more than 30 years, the locals had no access to fresh water next to them. But the Dutch decided to put stations of water so they don't have to walk many miles for some water. You might see some little water stations around some old cities. Back in the day, these stations were in cities and there was a button on top. And whenever you held the button, water would come out. This was a great idea. So the locals wouldn't have to walk all the way to the river to get water. They would have access to it next to their home. So the Dutch put all these stations around Jakarta so the people wouldn't have to walk. This continued until the year 1949, and this is the moment where the Dutch finally leave. This place gets independence, and they decide to call it Indonesia, and they change Batavia to Jakarta. The Dutch left the city with many problems, and they couldn't even fix it themselves. So how is the Indonesian people gonna fix this? In the year 1959, 12% of the population used plumbed water. But more than 60 years later, in the year 2020, only 40% used plumb water. And that means more than 50% have wells in their backyard. The more Indonesians think, the more they can't figure out how to fix this problem. And that's why they want to make huge changes. It has been said that they have a plan to change the capital city, a place called Borneo. This is in a way where 10 and a half million people still live in Jakarta and they have to fix it, not leave it. After years of research, the engineers decided that they have to run a 100 kilometer wall in front of the city. They started in that year, but they only were able to put 10 kilometers of wall up. It's good that they only put this much wall up, because the wall itself is failing in all types of places. They fixed this wall about four times, but it still fails and the water leaks through the wall into the city. It's interesting because the Netherlands has sent engineers to figure out how they can solve the problem, but it seems like they haven't found a solution yet. 10.5 million people live in a place where it's sinking. A lot of people say the Dutch are at fault because they chose a wrong place and a wrong design for a city. This man says he lived here all his life, but he's sure that his grandchildren can't live here anymore. Scientists say in the 1950s, Tokyo, Shanghai, Taipei and Bangkok had the same problem. To get fresh water, everybody had a well, but they quickly plumbed the entire city and they made building wells illegal. These places have a lot of water, not only underneath, but they get rainfall frequently. But countries in the Middle East like Iran and Afghanistan, where a lot of people build wells, they are creating the same problem as Jakarta. And that means there are sinkholes forming. 